Hey YouTube, what's up? This is Nate here, and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the Nexus 7 tablet. This is Google's new 7-inch tablet that they announced and gave away to developers at their I.O. conference last month. So the developers received a limited white edition of this device, so the backplate was in the white color. The model that the public is receiving has a back-colored uh, backplate. So that's what I've got my hands on today. I did pre-order this device the first day that it was made available, and I finally got my hands on it today. Uh, the Google Play Store pre-order started shipping late last week. So if you pre-ordered one, you should be getting it soon if you don't already have it. It is also available from, from certain retailers, I believe GameStop, Staples, and Sam's Club are among the few to carry it. Uh, reports are saying that this device has pretty much sold out in a lot of those retailers, so your best bet as of right now may still be to get it from the Google Play Store, even though it is still a one to two week wait for this device to start shipping. So I picked up the 8 gigabyte model. It's available for $199. You can also get the 16 gigabyte model for $249. So taking a look at the box itself, got the Nexus logo right here. And also the bezel of this tablet is making uh, the number seven right there. You can see that. On the side of the box, we've got the Nexus 7 logo there again, and ASUS, that is the manufacturer of this tablet. And then we've also got that same, same information there on the right hand side. Now we'll take a look at the back of the box. So once again here, we've got the Google logo, and you'll see here it's made for Google Play. So this tablet is all about media consumption, and you'll be able to get all the media that you're looking for, whether it be apps, games, movies, books, all directly from the Google Play Store. And this is a full-fledged Android tablet. It features a NVIDIA quad-core Tegra 3 processor, which also features a 12-core GPU. It's got a front-facing 1.2 megapixel camera and a vivid 7-inch display. This is a 1280 by 800 HD display that is backlit and it's got uh, IPS backlit and it's got 216 pixels per inch and it's got the scratch resistant corning glass over top of it. And also this device has one gigabyte of RAM and it's got a 4,325 milliamp hour battery which Google claims is going to get you about eight hours. So we'll have to take a look at that when I do the review. So let's go ahead and unbox this thing. We should be able to take off the front cover here. And once again, we've got the Nexus logo. Looks like on the bottom here, we've got some tape that we need to rip off. There we go. And take off the lid. All right, so here is the Nexus 7 tablet itself with the back colored back plate. Set this to the side. See what else comes in the box. All right, so we've got the wall uh, charger adapter right here. Got the Asus logo on it got some documentation here so here's the quick start guide so you can go ahead and get set up and using your Nexus 7 as well as some warranty information and we've also got the micro USB to USB adapter so this will plug this end will plug into the Nexus 7 itself and then this will plug into the charger so now I'll give you guys a quick tour of the device so there's that 1.2 megapixel front facing camera on the right hand side we've got the sleep wake button as well as the volume rocker on the back you'll find the Nexus as well as the ASUS logos and down here you'll find the speaker. On the top then we've got one of the microphone inputs and then we've got a second microphone input here on the right hand side as well as a dock uh, connector right there so if you buy the dock accessory that's where it will hook up. And then at the bottom we've got the micro USB input as well as the headphone jack. So let's go ahead and power this device on hopefully it'll have some power in it. And there we go, we've got the Google logo here on the screen. Wait for this to power on. Uh, so this device is shipping with Android 4.1 Jelly Bean right out of the box. It's a stock Google experience uh, that I've really enjoyed so far in my Galaxy Nexus. So hopefully I can say the same thing about this tablet. And we've got the Jelly Bean uh, boot up logo right here. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to set this device up once it powers on. So we've got the welcome screen here. You'll be able to choose your country, I believe, from this list right there for your language. Go ahead and select next. And let me go ahead and connect to my Wi-Fi network real quick. So once that's done, it'll ask you to sign in with your Google account. Let me see if I can just skip that for now. 
Uh, so you can sign up for an account if you do not have one. I'll just skip it. And then you can uh, choose to have Google use your location. So this is just the location services. Uh, if you don't want that on, you can just uh, deselect those items right there. And then you can go ahead and enter your name. And it looks like we are done. So let's go ahead and just take a quick look at this tablet. It should be pretty smooth with the Project Butter here on Android 4.1. You can see uh, no lag here whatsoever. Uh, let me go ahead and just take a look at what version it has running on here. There should be an update available if it's not running 4.1.1. You'll see it's 4.1, so there should be an update available. And yes, you will see here, so I will install that later. Uh, some other things to make note of, of course, is that with the Nexus 7, it has Google Chrome here as the default web browser, uh, which I have really enjoyed using on iOS as well as my Galaxy Nexus, so I'm sure I'll really like the experience here as well. So we've got the voice search and we've got the keyboard here. You'll see it's got a little bit of a different keyboard sound here on this device. And another thing to make note of, of course, is the Google Voice search capabilities, as well as pulling up the Google Now menu. So this has been an unboxing of the Nexus 7 tablet, and I'll be sure to give you guys a review here in the near future. So thanks for taking the time to watch this, and I'll catch you guys later.